Hey guys, here's our first Google Classroom video. Um, we'll be talking about the hockey stick grip. I'll quiz you during the week to make sure you watch this video, and also it'll tell me on the computer whether or not you watched it or not. Uh, pay attention, there'll be a, like a fun little quiz after this, so pay attention to the specifics of this video. Uh, the grip. The easiest thing is for the grip is pay attention to our thumbs. Here is the blade of the stick. It's the most important part. It's the part that hits the puck. It needs to be flat on the ground in order to hit the puck. You do that. So lay it perfectly flat in front of you. Now you take your thumbs. For me, I'm right-handed, so I'll take my left thumb first and place it right on top of the stick like that. I'll take my right thumb, place it right below it, so you can see thumbs on top of the stick. I'm going to just spread out my hands until they're wider than my body with my thumb still on the top, and now I've got a good grip. If I'm left-handed, I just start with my other hand. If I'm left-handed, I start with my right. If I'm left-handed, I start with my right thumb, put it on top, my left thumb, put it next to it, slide it down until it's wider than my body, and now I have a left-handed grip. The only way I, uh, you can mess kind of up the grip is if instead of your thumbs on top, you put your fingers on top. If I see fingers along the top of the grip, I know you didn't watch the video. This is called the broomstick handle grip. It's good for sweeping, terrible for puck handling. Because if you hold it like with your puck, with the broomstick grip, your blade never lays flat on the ground. It all, it's always kind of straight up and down, and the puck goes right underneath it. So you'll never be able to hit it. So I should never see fingers on top of your stick. I should see thumbs. So I'll show you some highlights from my games this week and the other players on my teams and how they grip the puck and stick. Yeah. Cool. There's Drew Doughty. Kyle Clifford and Dustin Brown. Yeah, we always give high fives at the end of the games to each other and the other team. The guy in front of me, number 10, is 6 foot 3, so he's a big dude and yes, we play against girls sometimes. Those are girls on the other team and guess what? We lost to the girls team this game. So yes, girls can play, definitely play hockey.